Hello everyone, my name is Yi Lu. I'm a material scientist working at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. I was a four-year-old girl who just started to learn about this world when the Berlin Wall came down. 23 years later, in 2012, I earned my PhD degree from MIT in material science and engineering with research focus on electrochemical energy storage. Shortly after, I came to Hong Kong and started my research group. Now I am leading a group of 20 enthusiastic PhD students and postdoctoral researchers focusing on developing new battery chemistry that can enable massive renewable energies such as solar and wind power. Our mission is to provide clean, low-cost, and inherently safe energy storage solutions for every person on this planet to store renewable energy and use it anywhere, anytime. I wanted to become a professional basketball player as a child. And no, it did not come true. But I still do play basketball sometimes. My research breaks the wall of safe energy storage. Batteries play a crucial role in our daily life as it powers most of the electronic devices around us. Unfortunately, modern lithium-ion batteries are flammable and toxic, posing safety risks that can harm the development of clean energy. You must have heard the battery explosion incidents happen to cell phones, laptops, and electric vehicles. All of them are caused by flammable electrolytes used in the lithium-ion batteries. Imagine when everyone is driving an EV and using big batteries at home to store renewable energy. We are essentially surrounding ourselves with potential bombs. The safety concern of lithium-ion batteries will eventually prevent us from further expanding our usage of renewable energy and electric vehicles. Presently, we know we need better safety. But the commercial batteries still use flammable electrolytes because we need higher energy. Our project solved this problem. We develop a new way of storing energy in a battery that is at once safer, cheaper, and better for environment, without sacrificing energy. We develop a water-soluble polymer, polyethylene glycol, or PEG, to create a new water-based electrolyte that is inherently safe and high energy. Conventional aqueous batteries are safe, but impractical to compete with lithium-ion batteries because of their low voltage. The PEG in our electrolyte acting as a crowding agent surrounding water molecules with hydrogen bonds to prevent them from splitting apart. This simultaneously guarantees safety and high voltage since water is non-flammable and PEG stabilizes water. For the past 10 years, researchers have been trying to stabilize water in aqueous batteries to increase their voltage to be as high as lithium-ion batteries, which is usually more than 3 volts. However, most solutions involved the use of expensive and toxic lithium salts to stabilize water, which made it difficult to realize in an economic and sustainable way. We introduced polyethylene glycol, or PEG, as a stabilization agent. It is 30 to 100 times cheaper than the previous stabilization agent. PEG is non-toxic and environmental friendly. In fact, it is also the basis of skin cream and additives in food and drinks. Using this stabilization agent, we expanded the aqueous electrolyte window from 2 volts to 4 volts which is comparable to commercial lithium-ion batteries. This electrolyte also enables the use of many electromaterials that could not be used in conventional aqueous electrolytes. Our research finding created a new platform for designing aqueous electrolytes with large voltage window and high stability for safe, low-cost, and eco-friendly energy storage. Battery technology has advanced a lot in the past decade, but we are still relying on flammable, toxic materials. Our breakthrough eliminates the risk of fire with high-voltage batteries, removing a limitation that always makes headlines. 
With these electrolytes, we no longer need to worry about fires from laptops, cell phones, electric vehicles, and airplanes, and those devices around us every day. With this breakthrough, we have achieved voltage equality with modern lithium-ion batteries. But I wonder, can we do better than lithium-ion? Is it possible to exceed the voltage of lithium-ion and still maintain the inherent safety of an aqueous battery? But it's not just a dream. We are working hard on designing new polymers that can stabilize water to produce battery voltage that's even higher than lithium-ion battery. My mom always shares my research with her friends. My best friends say they can't wait to buy an electric vehicle powered by my batteries.